Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're doing a comparison of the new Nexus 7, which released in July of 2013, just last month. Uh, this is the second generation of the Nexus 7, up against the Nexus 10, which was released in November 2012, I believe. Uh, so we're doing a general comparison of these two. I'm not going to get into exact details like the exact measurements, the exact weight, the exact processor type, stuff like that. If you want to see stuff like that, or perhaps a gaming demo, I'll be putting, I have put those in separate videos, you can find those uh, video links in the description below. Just simply expand the description below and there you'll find links to those videos. The reason I'm not, do I'm not doing it here is because we made this video about an hour long, okay? So this is just a general comparison of both tablets. The Nexus 7 is obviously significantly smaller. I mean, there's no secret about it, you can see it in plain sight, but it's also just common sense. And that's basically because the Nexus 7 has a 7 inch screen, whereas the Nexus 10 has a 10 inch screen. The Nexus 7 also has a slightly smaller bezel. On the top and the bottom, you'll notice that the bezel is big, but on the sides it's a lot smaller. Whereas the Nexus 10 has a huge screen, the bezel overall is just surprisingly thick. I'm not sure what is up with that, but on all edges it's a lot bigger. So there's no secret that the Nexus 7 is going to be smaller. But in terms of weight, now here's the thing, obviously the Nexus 10 is bound to be heavier, which is true. But the Nexus 10 feels double the weight. Despite the screen being 3 inches bigger, the weight is almost double the Nexus 7. The Nexus 7 is really, really light compared to the Nexus 10. Okay, so screen clarity is very important, and I just want to make one thing very clear. You guys are not going to get the full potential of either screen, mainly because the Nexus 10 resolution is too high for 1080p. Uh, and the Nexus 7, despite it being 1080p, and you guys watching this on 1080p on YouTube perhaps, YouTube compresses video quality, so you're not going to get the max potential of the Nexus 7 even if you're watching this in 1080p on YouTube. So basically, I'm just going to, you're going to have to see it in person. I can tell you that it's one of those things you just have to see in person and compare it, but I'll give you a rundown anyway. The Nexus 7 has a 1080p HD IPS screen with a PPI of 323 and a resolution of 1920 by 1200 whereas the Nexus 10 has an amazing screen resolution of 2560 by 1600 but it has a PPI of 300 so PPI is almost the same, the Nexus 10 is slightly less. Now here's the thing that's kind of weird. Uh, in one ways the Nexus 7 screen is better and then vice versa and here's why. In terms of movie watching, 1080p movies, both of them run fantastic, speed's fine. Uh, if you can find a decent video playing app on Google Play, they both run 1080p MKV files just fine. Here's the thing, when looking at pictures, uh, the Nexus 10 is a little bit sharper. I can notice it with my own eyes. Uh, again, it's one of those things you have to see in person. But the odd thing about it is that the Nexus 7 screen is slightly brighter. So both of the screens are at the same level right now, the brightness I mean. They're both at three quarters up. Uh, but for some reason, the Nexus 10 screen isn't as bright as the Nexus 7. So both screens are fantastic, but the Nexus 10 is slightly sharper, whereas the Nexus 7 is slightly brighter. So both screens are great, but they do have their odd little cons against each other. So if you were to ask which screen is better, uh, it's hard to say. I would probably say the Nexus 10. Despite it not being as bright as the Nexus 7, it's still good enough to see everything clearly. And sharpness is great on it, so I'm going to have to say the Nexus... 10 screen is slightly better. In terms of RAM, both uh, tablets have 2 gigs of RAM, so they're pretty equal there. The RAM is a tie. Uh, as for the processor, the Nexus 7 has a quad core processor at 1.5 gigahertz from Qualcomm uh, with the GPU and Adreno 320, whereas the Nexus 10 has a dual core Exynos A15 uh, processor clocked at 1.7 gigahertz with a GPU that is a Mali T604. Now, in terms of general responsiveness, despite the Nexus 10 having a dual core processor, the architecture and design from Samsung's processor in here is really well done. So even though it's dual core, it doesn't mean it's slow. Too many people that don't know what they're talking about think dual core is just old technology. Yeah, it's a little bit slower, uh, but depending on who makes it, it can be fantastic. So general responsiveness on both is pretty fantastic when browsing the web, uh, large websites, you know, opening up applications. They're both extremely responsive. There's no problem there. The key difference though in processing power is actually mainly due to the GPU difference. The Nexus 10 processor can outdo most of the iPads, I think even the new iPads, in terms of processor speed, but the GPU is where its weakness lies. The GPU in the Nexus 4 is better, and the processor is just a slightly better as well. So gaming performance, there is a difference. So I decided to use the Dark Knight Rises game uh, just as a general example to show you guys, just because the graphics are so ridiculously high on this game. Um, the other thing is that you can't lower the graphics on this game, 
and you notice that the environment details are fantastic though. Uh, the Nexus 7 has next to no lag on the, uh, this game. The outside environment with the raining details, it, it runs pretty smooth. Uh, things are pretty good for the most part. Uh, so give you guys just a really really quick comparison uh, despite me making gaming demos videos for each tablet. Um, the Nexus 10 as I mentioned isn't as good for gaming compared to the Nexus 7. Most games seem to run pretty fine. Uh, the extremely high graphic games like the Dark Knight Rises which I'm playing for an example is a bit more sluggish and harder to control at times. It's just as you're seeing right there there was a bit lag spike right there you just saw. Um, it's just kind of hard to control at times because you know the environment details are just too high for the tablet I guess for it to handle or probably the GPU. Alright so cameras on tablets aren't that great to start with uh, but both of them have a 5 megapixel rear facing camera. Uh, one other key difference though is the Nexus 10 has a flash coupled with its rear camera whereas the Nexus 7 has no flash just simply the rear camera. Um, as for the front facing camera, the Nexus 7 has 1.2 megapixels. Uh, the front facing on the Nexus 10 is 1.9 megapixels. Both rear cameras record at 1080p at 30 frames per second, and both front facing cameras record at 720p at 30 frames per second. But overall speaking, the Nexus 7 rear and front camera is simply better, especially when it comes to the rear, sorry, the front facing camera. The strange thing about the Nexus 10 is that it just zooms in way too much for some bizarre reason. So if you're trying to like, you know, see yourself in the camera when you're doing maybe web chatting or something, it's not going to be that great of, of an experience for you guys. Uh, I just don't know, understand why, but see here you're able to see a lot more detail in the Nexus 7. Um, obviously my hand is a lot smaller than the Nexus 7 on this side because it's a smaller screen, but you're noticing that more of my hand is being captured and they're both at the same distance from the cameras. So for some bizarre reason, the Nexus 10 camera, the front facing, just zooms in way too much, which is pretty annoying actually. As for the battery, the Nexus 7 has a 3950 milliamp lithium ion non-removable battery, whereas the Nexus 10 has a 9000 milliamp lithium polymer battery, non-removable. Uh, another thing is that despite the battery being bigger on the Nexus 10, it, it does last longer than Nexus 7 from my personal experience, but not a, by a huge amount. That's most likely due to the reason that the Nexus 10 has a very large screen and very, well, awesome screen, uh, better to say. It, it has to generate more power for the screen. So the Nexus 10 does last longer in terms of battery, but not by a huge amount. But if I had to say, in terms of camera, as I mentioned before, the Nexus 7 is better, but in terms of battery, the Nexus 10 is better. In terms of connectivity, like GPS, Wi-Fi, uh, they both support A, B, G, N, Bluetooth, they have an NSA, NFC chip inside. The key difference for connectivity though is the Nexus 10 on the right side has a micro HDMI port. I know my camera is not focusing, there we go. Whereas <clears throat> some people might get disappointed that it doesn't have a micro HDMI port on the Nexus 7. However, if you were to buy a slim port adapter, you could plug it into the micro USB port because the Nexus 7 supports slim port adapters. So basically speaking, both tablets can be hooked up to your TV if you have an HDMI port on your TV. They just require you buying an additional wire or adapter of some kind. So you can mirror exactly what you're doing on your tablets to your TV. In terms of storage, both of them come in a 16 or 32 gigabyte uh, models and there's no micro SD card slot on either tablet. So you're stuck with either having 16 or 32 gigs internal memory for either model of tablets, okay? There's no external memory. So in terms of storage space, it's a tie. Both of them do have LED notification lights here at the bottom, which I've demonstrated in their individual reviews. In terms of general body design for the Nexus 7, uh, it's pretty good. You know, on the bottom you have micro USB port, on the left you have nothing. I'm going through this really fast because I've done this in the individual reviews already. On the top you have the 3.5mm uh, jack for headphones or connecting to your stereo system and auxiliary port. Power button, volume rockers on the right, a microphone. Uh, rear camera with no flash. And of course you have the speaker grills here at the bottom and another set here at the top. And of course you have the front facing camera here at the top. Whereas the Nexus 7 has a front facing cam here at the front, and of course, the speaker grills are actually really thin. Uh, they're actually these borders right here. There you guys can see it. And there's a second set right here. So the speaker is actually at the front facing you, the user. Here at the bottom, you have some sort of dock connector. Um, 
on the left you have the 3.5 millimeter jack, micro USB port. On the top you have volume button, rocker buttons, uh, volume rocker buttons ra rather. A mini, uh, sorry, micro HDMI port on the back. Uh, you have just a soft texture. These are not speakers. It's some soft texture. Microphone, camera, and flash. <clears throat> so in terms of comfortability, which one's better to hold? Well, let's just say it's a tie because the Nexus 7 is smaller uh, and it's very comfortable to hold. But if you prefer a bigger screen, obviously you're going to choose the Nexus 10. But its design is done really well as well. It's really got a nice soft backing. So in terms of which one's better to hold, it's more of a preference as to which screen size you want. Uh, in that regard, it's pretty much a tie. Okay, so so doing a general speaker comparison test, I'm going to play the exact same YouTube clip from my channel at the exact same time spot on the video uh, for a few seconds each, and both of them have their volume maxed out. Uh, so this will give you guys an exact uh, speaker test sampling. So let's start with the Nexus 7 first. Rating by 800, which again is basically 720p HD, and it has uh, 216 ppi with scratch resistant corning glass. So in terms of the screen, I'll get into which one's the better one in short. 1280 by 800, which again is basically 720p HD, and it has uh, 216 ppi with scratch resistant corning glass. So in terms of the screen, Okay, so here what I'm noticing, uh, I'll notice it better because I'm standing in front of both tablets. With my own ears, I'm noticing that they're pretty equal in terms of volume. Despite the Nexus 7 having its speakers at the bo bottom, even when I lifted it up just to let the sound carry and bounce off my desk, I'm noticing that it's still pretty equal to the Nexus 10, despite the Nexus 10 speakers being at the front. Uh, I'm noticing that both speakers are actually really loud, most compared to most of the other Android tablets I've ever used. These are probably some of the two loudest I've ever used, which is actually a good thing. So in terms of speaker volume, they're pretty equal. I am not going to do an Android benchmarking test for you guys. If you want to see them, you can check out their individual video reviews because benchmarking tests don't mean much to me. I'm more of a practical usage, uh, you know, user. In terms of most comfortable to hold, let's say I was unbiased. I didn't care if I wanted a 10 inch or a 7 inch. Uh, I like them both equally, which I actually do. Um, but in just even then, most comfortable to use and hold, let's say with two hands, to be unbiased. Uh, it's gonna have to be the Nexus 7, not because of a smaller screen, it's just because it's so darn light. Despite the screen being three inches smaller, its weight is half of that of the Nexus 7. So it, they both have nice texture backing, um, you know, they're both very nice to hold, but it's just to me, it's the weight difference that makes it a little bit better to hold the Nexus 7. If you were to ask me my personal opinion as to which one I would recommend you buy, this is my personal, personal opinion, okay? So don't, like, get too upset on my decision. I would have to say the Nexus 7. It's simply because I find that the 7-inch screen is pretty decent for e-reading, uh, watching movies on the go, uh, looking at pictures. Sure, it's not going to be as great as the Nexus 10 for looking at pictures or reading comics, but overall, it, I just find that the Nexus 10 is pretty decent for my taste. It's a lot more compact and portable, so if I'm ever on the plane or, you know, traveling, the Nexus 7 is just a lot easier and mobile to take around, so I really like the Nexus 7 better. Plus, you're getting a lot more better bang for buck. Its price point is a lot better than the Nexus 10. The Nexus 10 is a little bit pricey, but, you know, it's it all comes down to personal preference, so your decision might be different compared to mine. So that's my general comparison. Uh, both tablets are superb. It just depends on, you know, your budget because the Nexus 10 is pretty pr pricey and the Nexus 7 is a lot cheaper and also just comes down to which screen size do you prefer. Some find the Nexus 7 too small, some find the Nexus 10 too big. So with that said, uh, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.